It is an honor to lead this group. It really is. I know my mother would be proud. God rest her soul. She always knew I had a career in public speaking. I can still picture her to this day leaning over the car seat, yelling at us three kids, and specifically saying to me, your mouth runs like the clappering of a duck's ass. (laughs) I took it as a compliment. We're here to grow this business, and the spirit of Cavett is alive and well in this chapter. And Liz, thank you for your service, and thank you for the rest of the board members. And I especially want to thank Gary Hankins for your support and for your partnership and your continued commitment to the success of this group, because you will be a steer for me as well as other board members. It is very important. I have a gift for you. Actually, I have two gifts, which is kind of code that means... Neither gift is really good enough, but come on up. Uh, first of all, I got you two front row seats to the MLS Cup champion, Los Angeles Galaxy, including David Beckham. So right down the street, which, by the way, you may know this, their head coach, Bruce Arena, brought a couple national championships to the Cavaliers in Virginia. And we have a paperweight to help you remember all the work and, that you've done. Thank you, Gary. We are professional speakers. Members in this chapter range from Santa Barbara all the way to San Diego and beyond, serving an endless slew of industries and speaking on just about every topic imaginable. As Terry said earlier, it's just amazing the diversity. We serve a large and diverse market. Most of us reside in this market, and I think sometimes we take it for granted. Did you know that California is the 10th largest economy in the world? I know it used to be higher. We've slipped a little bit, but 10th is still pretty high. In the L.A. region, these five counties in our backyard, the neighborhoods we all live in, touts over 21 million people. And that same region represents the equivalent of the 15th largest economy in the world. Just in our own backyard, the 15th largest economy in the world, ahead of countries like South Korea. We have an amazing opportunity here. Now, as your incoming president, I'm not going to make a lot of promises, mostly because you've already elected me. (laughs) But I do want to share some of our goals for this year. One, we're going to redo the website with a focus on professionalism and quality and the hope to make it a destination for finding speakers in the region. Two... We're going to have premium premium events, Hall of Fame speakers, celebrity speakers that will draw you back. And we've got two Hall of Famers scheduled just in the next 90 days. Three, we're going to market beyond our list. Our marketing for the last period of years, maybe, has pretty much been to our own list. And we have an opportunity to raise our profile in the region by getting our message and our opportunity of meetings out to business leaders and community leaders and people who are speaking that, for whatever reason, have never heard of NSA. And we're going to hopefully make that transition this year. Four, we're going to expand the Pro Speak Academy and do a better job of marketing that and to help take some of our reliance on auctions down a little bit, which I think will be nice to some degree. And five, we're going to have some workshops that will allow you to roll up your sleeves to build your brand instead of sometimes just sitting and listening. And some of you have asked for that, and I hope you'll see value in how we hope to have it structured. You've already met the team that's going to accomplish that and work hard to get it done. We want more support. I mentioned Pro Speak Academy. Let me ask you this. Raise your hand if you have a product or service that would be valuable to the student speakers in our speaking school. I believe that we've been cheating ourselves as well as our students by not making that more visible to them. I would suspect that of the hands that went up, most of our students at PSA are unaware that's out there. So I want to work on that. I want you to connect with me if you have things of value to our ProSpeak Academy student base so that we can make that available to them in the future. And I also want to recruit you for an advisory or educational committee so we can help take that program forward. There's an awful lot of people in this region trying to become speakers, and we need to do a better job of making Pro Speak Academy visible to them. Liz and Gideon have great heritage with it. Gary is the dean this year, and it's a program that we're going to continue to grow. 
Now, you've already discovered I'm not the best speaker in the world. Heck, I'm probably not even the top five speaker in this corner of the room. <laughs> but that's not why I'm here. I'm here to help drive us forward. Professionally, I serve as Managing Director of Empowered Sales Training. We offer custom programs for sales success. Empowerment, to me, is about having power and authority over something. It's also about having a strong vision of where you're headed, a deep connection with why you want to get there, and best practice how-tos to ensure success on your journey. And that's what we want to do with our speakers. My theme for this year is empowering SoCal speakers to connect and grow. Now, I want to, a bunch of you have renewals coming up in another month or two, and I want to encourage you to renew early. And I'm going to give you some dates I want you to write down. Some of these have been mentioned already today, but we have some phenomenal stuff coming up. July 7th at Pete Johnson's house in beautiful Laguna Niguel. It's an amazing property, a wonderful pool, a master event, and summer barbecue. It's about two miles from my home. That should be an outstanding event. You've got the convention on the 14th and 17th, Accelerate 2012 in Indianapolis. On August 11th, we have Scott McCain scheduled. And if you know Scott, you know it's going to be high quality. And if you don't know Scott, you would be missing something truly priceless if you don't make it to that meeting. And on September 8th, we've got another Hall of Fame speaker in Tom Winninger, former NSA past president, scheduled as well. That is very, very exciting. Ron, this has been excellent. It's an honor for you to be part of our inductions. You live in Virginia, and I don't know if you ever heard, but do you know why Virginia doesn't have a NFL team? Well, if Virginia had an NFL, to, a real football team, an NFL team, then Washington would want one too. <laughs> Sorry. I, I tried to take notes but on your humor, but obviously, you know. Jim Cathcart. I know I've said this to you, but I believe it dearly, that it would take 100 speakers, 100 years to contribute to NSA and this chapter to the degree you have over the years. Thank you very much for your service. I'm absolutely thrilled that you will continue on this board. Thank you, sir. This is your chapter. Please send recommendations for venues, for speakers. Did you guys like today was Commerce Hotel? Did you have? Yes? Okay. That's all I have to say. I think it's going to be an exciting year. I hope to see you at each and every meeting. And please stay connected with those around you and with your chapter. Thank you, Jim. Congratulations, Mr. President. Kevin Graham.